up guys everything fish here in front of my 75 gallon you bring 75 gallon bringing you the first video of a new series I said I'd be making on my last video which is called native fish care um, if you didn't see the last video this is pretty much just gonna be the same as my species info series same format when I'm talking about the fish just it's gonna be for native fish USA native fish only and it's not going to be numbered like I have species info 1, 2, this is just going to be native fish care dot dot name of the fish so I don't know I just feel like change it up a little bit but anyway first fish of this series kind of hard to see him of course he hides in the one spot under his cave I can't get a good shot but the yellow bullhead is what we're doing today so obviously the name of the fish is yellow bullhead, scientific name is Amy Uris natalis. Other names are yellow bullhead catfish, mud cat, butter catfish, and yellow cat, among several others, most are from the south. Family is Ictaluridae, which is North American catfishes. Origin, it's kind of hard for me to explain it in my own words on a map, so according to planetcatfish.com, native to North America to the Atlantic and Gulf Slope drainages from New York to northern Mexico and St. Lawrence Great Lakes and Mississippi River basins from southern Quebec west to central North Dakota and it's widely been introduced outside its native range get a zoom there see if I can get a good pic there's his eye you can kind of see right there I don't think I can get him to come out yeah, he just wants to stay back there. Oh well. Let's see, where was I? It was described by Lejour, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right either, in 1819. Tank size. I have mine right now. And, oh wait, hang on a second, guys. I'm back, guys. Just wanted to get him to a better angle so you could see him better. Nothing he won't do for food. But anyway, I was at tank size next, so absolute minimum tank size for an adult would be 75 gallons, just for one. I have mine at 75 gallon now with a bunch of other fish, but he's only 6 inches now. And even then, he's producing a lot of the bio load for this tank. He's probably about a third of the waste production in this tank. At this small size, I got him about 3.5, 4 inches back in early July. But yeah... You need 75 gallons for an adult. My guy here is probably going to go into at least 150 absolute minimum. Probably something more like that 180 to 240 range by next late next year. Before he gets about 10 inches, he'll go into that tank. But yeah, if you want to keep them with other fish, you should do at least 125 gallons, preferably larger. Maximum size for this fish is about 12 to 14 inches. There are those rare occasions you'll find a 16 inch one, but that's pretty close to record size. So if you have one over 14 inches, just of a yellow bullhead, send me a picture. That'd be an astonishing size for these guys. As far as temperament go, these guys are semi-aggressive. There's not normally any territory issues, but when you keep multiple bullheads in one tank, they will fight over hiding spots. Mine is actually really peaceful. He doesn't fight with hiding spots with my other cats, but once a week or so, and he doesn't even bug the cichlids that are about one inch in this tank. Doesn't go after anybody. He's really peaceful. As far as experience, this is a moderate level fish. They are incredibly hardy. They can withstand almost any water quality. Not that you should keep them in garbage water, but they can tolerate it for short periods of time, although longer than other fish can. But they do need a pretty big tank when they're an adult, so that's why I would not recommend them for a beginner. As far as feeding goes, these are omnivorous fish. They'll pretty much eat anything edible. Mine's on a staple diet of shrimp pellets and blackworm flake every night, but they'll also eat those two things plus normal flake, brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, blood worms, black worms, red worms, night crawlers bunch of other types of earthworms and pretty much anything they can fit in their mouth that they can get down temperature range for these guys are really adaptable they can survive in anything from about 41 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit but 
Ideally, for captivity, you want to try to keep it in the 64 to 78 degree range. A lot of people keep these with these with larger tropical fish, such as cichlids, because they can tolerate really high temperatures and they're good scavengers. Although they are very messy, like I said, before you go out and get yourself one, because you think it'll be a good vacuum cleaner. These things make a lot more waste than they make up for by eating food on the bottom. So for pH for these guys, again, really adaptable. There's nothing about this fish that's too picky. 6.0 to 8.0 should work just fine. Keep them with anything from South American cichlids up to some of the more alkaline fish like Central American cichlids. Really hardy limestone creek native fish. Activity level for these guys. When you first get them, most of them are going to be nocturnal, but... I'm working on mine getting out during to the, during light now. Many of them will take to surface feeding during lights on eventually. Mine's already taken to hand feeding, coming a few inches out of his cave in the day. Best tank mates would be other large, more robust North American fish, such as sunfish, crappy, bass, yellow perch. Other bullheads, North American catfish, such as channel cats and larger mad toms like stone cats. And maybe even larger creek chubs. For best, but not if they can fit them in their mouth, then that's a big no. Anything this fish can fit in its mouth is going to be gone. As far as best tank mates, I just said that twice. For decor for this fish, they're really not picky. Just include, pl include plenty of caves and hiding spots for them to go in during the day. Plastic plants also work nicely too, but... Do not do live plants. This fish will tear up your live plants, guys. Bad choice. And for substrates, fine gravel or sand works really well. They would love... Most people are not going to be ballsy enough to do this in a tank, but if you have a silt substrate, these guys will love it in your tank. They just That's where they live most in the wild, on a silt and mud substrate. They would love it. You might even be able to breed them. Be one of the few people that can breathe them in a tank if you had a mud or a silt substrate. And just overall for this fish, it's a great, incredibly hardy native catfish. Grows relatively large pretty quickly, puts on size pretty fast, but has a personality to match its size. They'll adapt to eat just about anything, with a little effort can even be trained to surface feed. So yeah, sorry if I was stumbling a bit through this video guys. Just having a long day already. Didn't get much sleep last night. But wanted to bring you guys a video. So this has been the first video of Native Fish Care, the yellow bullhead catfish. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hit that like button if you did. And I'll keep this series going. Hopefully I can. Alright, I'll see you guys next time.